Hi, I'm David, and in today's video, we're going to learn the power of bar tables and how you can make them in seconds using a template I've made in Google Sheets. Let's dive in. Okay, so I've found a lot of people face this challenge when I meet them at conferences about data visualization and other meetups of the like. One of the biggest challenges is their stakeholders on two things. It's either they like their data being in table format, just boring old numbers and tables, or they just don't see the value in data visualization and think it's all fancy and just has no value. I'm gonna give you a little tip on how you can sow those seeds to get them thinking about the power of data visualization about blowing their mind and doing something radically different. And that is with bar tables. Now, they're not radically different from anything, but let's just have a quick look. So we have this data currently in a table format, and it's very hard to see. I've got to, got to look up and down, scan through to see which values are the highest and lowest before I make a decision, okay? But let's see the same data, but with bars or bar charts within the table. Now it's super easy, you can quickly see if there's a trend that's going highest to lowest, vice versa, and I can quickly see, bam, there's the highest percentage value here and there's the lowest. Whereas, again, going back to his table, I've kind of got to go up and down and scan, and it's not ideal for anyone. So the benefit of this is you're not rocking their world, right? It's still data in a tabular format. It just has these extra little bars to help them along. And so they can't really push back on it being radically different. And then equally, hopefully they'll start to go, uh, you know what, this is making my life a little bit easier. And you kind of keep doing it, and I guarantee you before you know it, they're just going to want this by standard. And now you might be asking me, Dave, how do I build these? And it's super easy, and I've made it even easier for you using a template in Google Sheets. I will give other templates in Data Studio and Tableau soon, but for now I've started here. Now, without going into details, I'll give you a copy of a link, and when you first presented with the link. And all you need to do is go make a copy, or you won't touch my master template, and you'll just make a copy for you to play around with as much as you want. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. And you'll be presented with this, okay? So you can immediately start adding in the numbers you want, um, maybe copy and paste, it's up to you. But you can start to see, as soon as you update it, so the maximum x-axis is the maximum value in the corresponding column. Now, you probably want to modify a few things, and I've got you covered. You can kind of change the color, either by typing in natural color, or you can play around with the hex values and get much more control over the colors you want. Equally, if you want to add more rows, it's as simple as just going insert rows, above or below. Do it within the range. If you do it outside, it will start breaking the equations, which we'll see in a second. Once you've done that, you just drag down, bam, you've got more rows. Need another column? Super easy. It's just copy, paste, and now you can just start editing it, and it's all going to operate independently from the rest, so nice and easy. Okay? Now, I do this by using something called sparklines, and it's only a limited use of the sparkline function. I won't bore you with it now. I've set it up so it's super easy. Just copy, paste, change values, change names, and you're done. But um, I will have another video and post dedicated to the power of sparklines coming soon. So there you go. Um, there's a link in the description below to this post and also the template, so you can always bookmark that, have it to hand whenever you need. So when you need a bar table, click, bam, done, just put the data in. You don't have to worry about any coding. Now, will you find this useful? Have you used tables like this before? Have you managed to win over any stubborn stakeholders? Love to hear. Let me know in the comments below and I hope this helps you. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Thank you very much.